Today I have a pretty awesome treat for you guys. I have, this is, this I'm calling a uh, code name Rip Rap Wheelios. Uh, so um, I, over here I have the, the remains of one Helios. Let's see if I can find another. Uh, where did it go? Oh, here we go. So here's an, the more, more remains of another Helios. And uh, so I had to um, grab some parts from both of those to be able to put it together into uh, uh, this, which I'm calling Wheelios. And um, what I did, what we did for the first prototype was we took this Helios and we put it on this angled base, uh, on, on this angled skate, which uh, we don't have the parts on it right now. And we had it roll along and it printed just fine. Um, for, for just a quick prototype. And so then I designed this as a purpose-built um, rolling robot arm. And you can see it's printing okay. There's some layer shifts. It's, um, I know exactly what's going wrong. There's, um, there's some belt tensioning issues, which I already have. I know exactly how to solve them. The, the problem here is I don't want to solve them on this robot, so um, I thought I'd show you this video before this one gets ripped apart and I make another version of this. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be making another Wheelios right away. Um, if you notice here, um, I just have a 2D arm on top of just angled skate. Uh, this 2D arm is going to be the rough successor to the arms that I've been using on my other Helioses. So, um, as you can see, some neat things are going on. The, uh, the, um, the central core has two steppers directly in it that will drive, you know, the uh, stepper drives this secondary axis, and then that secondary axis will drive back the arm or this pulley down here, and everything's symmetric about this line. You just can't see into the base right here, but the same thing's going on in the bottom, <clears throat> which makes a very compact design. Um, I'm going to expand the diameter of this a little bit, and I'm going to go with smaller steppers. And uh, I should be able to put all the Z components in there too. I don't want to get too deep into that right now. Um, but um, I should be building a, a straight up Helios next. Um, using this, roughly this arm. Uh, I know somebody in the comments will mention that these bearings have to be pretty expensive. I don't remember exactly what I paid for them, but uh, just like 608 bearings are really cheap because they make a lot of them, I went through a bunch of different sizes and I found one that was really common. And um, this, um, I can't remember, I, I wanna say it's uh, but 50, but I know I just looked a second ago and I found some for, you know, four or five bucks, and there's only one, two, three, four, five. I want to say there's five in the design, so um, that's 25 bucks for, for the uh, bearings, and it gives you such good um, rotational motion. <clears throat> Make sure everything stays nice and square. With those 608 bearings, I had to um, really make uh, the axes wide. This one lets the, the, the arm go much, much, much thinner. So anyways, that's it. Um, so, so this is based off the rip rep. I keep on tilting the camera because the arm's tilted. Um, this is based off the rip rep Helios, but, and I put it at an angle so, with wheels, so we're calling this the Wheelios. <laughs> so anyways, I wish I had a better print for you. Um, um, I promise that I did get some better prints on it before these belts loosened up. Um, and, and it's funny story how, how they <laughs> loosened up. Um, as you can see, there's a stepper in there's steppers, you know, really tightly packed onto the inside and I did not have them set with the right current and, uh, they overheated and all sorts of plastic has given way just a little bit. I have them adjusted way down and there's no skipping now. Now the belts are slipping. And, um, so I'm going to, I'm just, every single one of these belts, um, are, are going to have some kind of idler that can swing into it and um, 
and contention those. That should be very easy to do with minimal components. I'm not worried about that at all. So, anyways, uh, I hope to have another update with a, uh, a full-on Helios, and then and then I should circle back to this sometime in the future. This is just too cool uh, to not continue to pursue because, you know, like it doesn't take too much to get it printing, and then you could just print part after part after part after part. Uh, there's going to have to be some smarts in there to get it to figure out where the bed is. Um, and I have some ideas on that, so I'm not too worried about that. It's just uh, not my main focus. This was more um, to um, to put a uh, exclamation point on the end of my student's uh, science fair project where he did this skate. Um, and uh, he, uh, update on that, he just went to state science fair and got second, which was fantastic. So, um, anyways... Hope you enjoyed.